another rain day delay. It's all right, I've got some blades to catch up my maintenance on. This blade has been sharpened before, but the first cut will go all the way around, very slow, gentle, just take a little kiss off of it, and that evens it all out, and then I come back and do the sharp, the, uh, the cutting edge after I get the gullet cleaned out. So it's about three quarters of the time I can see the weld coming down. Always start at the weld, that way I know when I, when I finish. This is Range Road's uh, sharpener. I've been using it for years, I've done over a thousand blades on it. It works brilliantly, no issues at all, ever. Um, I use the CBN wheel. These are uh, Woodmiser 10 degree blades, double hard blades. I use the 10 degree wheel. I have a seven degree wheel as well. This is the final cut. Just giving that cutting edge just a little kiss and you can see where the welds coming up here now. You can see where I've written when I sharpened it last and I'll do the same thing again. That's it. Then we can slow the speed down to a, almost a crawl, switch it off, crank it back, also switch that off too. But as uh, I'll show you here, so here's a, a way I want you to see the shape of the tooth and you can see how tight that fits. In there so it, it does the whole tooth let me change this a little better so I can take that whole tooth and slide that in you see how nice and neat that that fits and this fellow right here is what advances the tooth to the next I'll just spin this by hand so the motor goes around pushes the tooth to the next spot and then you can see how that would fit nice and snug in there just as tight as can be and that does the whole tooth, the whole gullet, and the sharpened edge in one, one motion. It works amazing. It's a great sharpener. And this sharpener wasn't all that expensive. I'm going to say less than a thousand bucks, but I don't remember exactly. But anyway, I'll write on this now, and then I'll put this blade into service. And I've got, oh, a dozen more. The week's worth of blades. I'll sharpen those up today on a rainy day. And then when I install that blade, I'll put the hours that I start the, uh, the cutting. So far I've noticed I'm getting about six full hours of cutting. That's six hours of the blade going through the wood before that blade is no good. Can't be sharpened anymore. And what I've been finding is that when I sharpen the blade too much, uh, the, it'll start to crack, uh, get a little micro fissure, uh, usually at, in the middle of the gully, or the gullet I should say. And then it'll crack from there and I can just see, start to see it starting to vibrate. And if I'm lucky, catch it in time and it'll end up uh, changing that blade. So. so that's all I have to think about for that. And I'm going to go in and shut my shop down. It's my parents' 61st, 61st anniversary day. I have a card for them. So I might try to take a run down there after I sharpen my blades. Anyway, short little video. Thanks for watching. Over and out, everybody.